So here tonight we have uh, Bletchley uh, under 15s versus St Paul's under 15s. It's Friday nights under lights. So we try to encourage the, the girls from uh, St Paul's school who run their own uh, teams on uh, school days to join the club to play at the weekends as well. It's been a massive change over about four years, I would say. We started here with three girls, believe it or not, four years ago, which makes the training quite difficult with small numbers, etc. We've built that up over the last three seasons. We've now got 40 girls here, which is fantastic. A large part of that is girls bringing their friends because they're enjoying themselves, obviously. And the other part of that is us going into the schools, talking to the PE staff, because there's girls there who are interested in it, but have never had the opportunity. So I think the big thing we've been doing really is get the word out through the other girls who are already here so they understand what the opportunity are and bring their friends. And that's certainly paid off. Since coming to Bletchley Rugby Club, I've developed a lot as a player. From coming from not really playing that much rugby to now my third season of county, um, I still need to prove myself in the sessions to get onto the team for this year because it's quite recent I've got into it. However, I started Bletchley uh, under 13s, now I'm in under 18s, and the coaches have given me a lot of support and development along the way. If I mess up with something or have a query, the coaches will always take a bit of time and explain it to me and help me develop as a player. So here we have uh, three uh, senior teams plus the senior ladies teams plus uh, three uh, girls teams of different age groups plus boys teams from under six, under seven through to uh, Colts teams. Uh, we encourage anybody and everybody in Milton Keynes to come and play rugby because the core values of rugby are fantastic and it helps in their future lives. I mean to be honest I've been coaching here 16 years now um, originally with the boys and I've watched the boys grow up from 7 to 17 and therefore when they grew up I then was looking for the next team the girls were here trying to go trying to get a game so I got involved first time ever to be honest with you I wasn't really sure what it was going to be like and trust me they're just as good as the guys they've got the same issues the same skills the same development problems they've got to go through I'm so proud of them now we've done this like I said for four years and we've got some girls here who are playing county or with Saracens fantastic and that's all down to the effort they've put in and, and the opportunity we've given. Since coming to Bletchley Rugby Club I've developed not only with my sports skills but socially as well I've made like a really good friendship group which not, we don't always have to play rugby to be hanging out together we've made like multiple group chats where we'll speak and we'll make friends and it's just a nice environment to come to training to know that you're not only playing rugby but you'll come to see your friends as well. Well I think it, there's, there's several things but I mean it's, it's one it brings, uh, it, it makes you fitter, it helps with your physical development but it also teaches you life skills so from a very early age you're learning life skills and those core values that rugby imparts to all players are a great thing for their future life. It's a nice sense of community coming down here because you know your coaches care for you and it's, they're not only just your coach, but they're like a support as well. They help motivate and inspire you. Yeah, Angela, again, great example for us. Came along four years ago. Uh, she's half the size that she is now. She's certainly grown an awful lot. But actually, the thing we're most proud of is she represents the club. She's got a great attitude. She always wants to play, even in the mud. Got most of the pictures we've got of Angela tend to involve her at the bottom of a pile of mud and trying to find the ball. But she's gone all the way to Saracen. She's been on for a trial there. She'll go back again. She'll keep pushing. And she can go as far as she wants to, she is that good.